Hi, today's topic is inner healing. Many people have this question like uh, about law of attraction. Why law of attraction is not working for me? In fact, uh, I've been uh, doing the visualization part. I've been doing the affirmation part. In fact, I attended some many workshops also. It is working for somebody. It's not working for me. Or uh, forget about the law of attraction. In fact, some people say this, no, I'm going through a lot of challenges in my life. I'm going through a lot of failures in my life, the relationship problem, uh, failures in my business, failures in my health. Okay. Why? Why so much of sufferings in me? And the sad part is, okay, we don't know where it is. And then we are trying to find out, we are trying to, uh, trying to do so many things like meditations or they, they get into all kind of spiritual practices and they try to resolve it. Thinking that one day or other it will suppress or it will get, I mean, just leave them or they will have a peaceful life. In my 10 years of experience, what I found out is there's something called as inner healing. What is that inner healing? So I can just split in two parts, okay? I mean, I can just say like, uh, because I'm just, uh, if, uh, yeah, first before, yeah, I want to stress on this, like I'm a business coach, okay? I'm a business coach. I'm a mind power and law of attraction coach. I'm, I focus more on business. But since I handle people with the business and they are not able to see some success in their business, I don't just teach them the business techniques alone. Okay, I try to find out who they are. Okay, So during that process, I found out many things. And uh, some people actually, I mean, apart from my business coaching, there are some people approach me with their kids. And uh, for their personal life, they come to me also. So in this 10 years, I have come across so many things. Okay, I just want to thought, Okay, I think this can be benefiting those people who are struggling in their life and who are trying to find out a solution and they are not able to get it. Okay, so this is where I thought, okay, why don't I share this video on inner healing. So, we are talking about inner healing. Let us talk about, okay, the, I'll just do, uh, split in two ways. Okay, one is a, for the parents and was kids. As a parent, okay, people who are suffering, okay, most of the people, I mean, when talking about parents, okay, most of the people are like single parent or they had a single parent okay so if you have a past like that that is going to spoil your life and it is going to spoil your kids life also or if you are a kid or and who has been suffering or who has been seeing a parent like okay? i mean you have been brought up by a single parent and you are going through some sufferings you are not able to perform in academics you are not able to perform uh, in any area of your life you are stuck the reason is there's something called as inner healing. So what is it, inner healing? The inner healing more talks about, no? I talk about more about your past experiences, the past sufferings, the tension, the stress, the trauma. Okay, it could be a sexual assault in the childhood days. In fact, I've, I've shared many of my videos where I, I, I brought more, many of these people out of this kind of uh, frustrations and traumas and stress. What actually happens is, they, it would have happened a long time before, maybe some 10 years or 20 years before. It could be a tension, stress or sexual abuse or any kind of relationship problems or any kind of business losses or any kind of problem areas, okay, which actually literally affected you. Maybe you forgot that incident, but sometimes you remember that. What actually happens is you think that, oh, that's not bothering me. But actually what happens is that is reflecting even now. That's the reason many people are suffering. So I thought, why don't I share this? Because I have been uh, handled many, many people. Okay. And uh, I brought them completely out of that. And they see a growth in their business. They see a growth in their relationship. They see a growth in their uh, health, -ish, health. So many areas. Okay. So what did I do? Okay. So to share about it. Okay. I, th I thought, why don't I share through a testimonies? Okay. So what did I do? For them? Like the first testimony goes like this. A lady approached me, She's a doc she was a doctor and said, my 10 year old girl uh, is not focusing on studies and I get a lot of complaints from the teachers. So I thought like 10 year old, <laughs> it's very too, too, I mean, uh, too I mean, young for me because I, I mean normally I coach people who are in the mid 30s and uh, 40s and 50s. So suddenly I'm getting a client who is just 10 years old. So first I was not very happy, but I thought, okay, so somewhere I can help them out. I just called them. And uh, before the session itself, this particular doctor said, 
uh mrs stanley i want to say something mm. i and my husband are not united in the sense we are separated he is in his house and i am in my house and i am staying with my mom and i don't want you to know more about it i please don't ask me anything about apart from this just want to give a brief so this is my daughter and she is going through a lot of challenges so i want you to handle this i said okay fine so i uh, the, the mother left and I, i was with the the girl so i asked this girl uh, what was the challenge she was going through and she said very something very interesting she said the first problem which i am facing is i am not staying in my house the sense where me my dad my mom were staying that house we are not staying anymore uh when i am staying in my grandma's house along with my aunties and their kids and the problem which i am seeing is i don't have a separate room for me i don't have a separate table for me so everything belongs to my cousin sisters and cousin brothers so i feel somewhere i am not of this family because this is not my home it is their home it's not my home and uh, one thing is like and then i asked him uh, can i i mean can i ask you like uh, why your mom and dad got separated she said yeah my dad used to drink and that mom doesn't like it for me personally yes my dad drinks but i love him and he doesn't drink too much sometimes he drinks so there's a big fight and uh, so i miss my dad she was literally in tears and she said because of which i am not able to focus in my studies so what should i solve where should i solve should i talk about uh, her memory power program or concentration program or today should, should i train her how to focus on the studies or should i solve this issue where she is missing a daddy i found out she is missing a daddy that's the main concern of her failure in academics i said okay no problem i'll do something for you in fact i'll just program through your mind okay and uh, i'm going to program in such a way that your dad will come very soon but only thing one request is please don't share this to your mom she said okay fine and i did my session and uh, within 3 months i got uh, i got a call from this doctor and she said wow my daughter is uh, performing very good and uh, she is actually a topper in this class and uh, one more thing i want to add here is i am with my husband right now and everything is changed i was laughing inside but i didn't tell who was the guy who was the culprit behind this unity and so i was very happy the reason why i'm trying to share is many people try to don't try to find out where is the root cause and we try to focus out focus on the studies because I mean studies of the kid so this is one case the second case another lady she met me and said uh, i got my son who is almost in 13 years of age and uh, even he is rebellious in fact uh, and a single child he is rebellious and i'm getting a lot of complaints and he is not listening to me it's me and my mom who are there as what about your husband yeah i'm sorry uh, my husband actually cheated me so uh, we are separated so my husband is not with me and it's been quite long and so many years we've been separated again the same issue so i try to uh, again i try to counsel this guy i programmed him but what i found out is on and off i used to get a complaint or i used to get a uh, call from this lady and say that uh, can you talk to my uh, son again because whenever he you talk to him things are better but for a short time after that it is bouncing back he is bouncing back he is going back to the same place so it is finding it very difficult i'm finding it very difficult to mold him in this in the academic side or in the personal life then I had to break it i said i'm sorry to say that the the scar what you are carrying in your mind i don't know what is your problem i don't know what is the problem and in fact i never had a session with the lady but what i said was something you are having in your mind that was between you and your husband and that is still there though you try to act as if you are no i mean you are happy um, as a as a mom you have a child your mom is your, your mom is taking care and you you are having a i mean everything is there for your for you but some somewhere within you feel that something is loose you are missing something 
you lost something or somebody has cheated you I, i don't know what it is there is some pain or suffering which has been going through and so it's literally started in tears and said i'm sorry to say that until unless you don't do a session you don't take the session okay until unless i don't completely erase of all the negative thoughts all the past incidents in from your mind okay and program you for what you're looking for this energy of yours is going to affect your son also and very soon she'll be coming and third one which i want to share here is another lady from the foreign country after 30 years of married life they went through divorce after 30 years of married life they went through divorce they got grown up children and they are in the verge of marriage and this is the time she found find finds out that her husband is having a legal relationship so she broke up broke the relationship said no problem you can just carry on and uh, kids supported the mother saying that okay let him go and we will help you out but this lady only thinking was what was missing in me that this guy has to look for another lady and this thought started killing her and she went through a lot of trauma a lot of challenges in her life she was completely sick completely sick and she went through a lot of medications in fact she started traveling went to many places searching for a solution for the sickness and somebody recommended me and when i found out this is the root cause that is the the separation between the husband and wife okay maybe she had she had a lot of love about her husband and she was planning something else because that today I mean the kids are grown up and what happens is that pain or suffering which she was not able to digest started to cause a negative energy in her mind and slowly slowly that started affecting her health also and she was not able to sleep so many issues she went through okay uh, money problem even relationship with her kids were a problem big problem so everywhere it was it was a suffering and after my session the next day she called me and said i can't believe what you changed in my life everything is normal today and i'm seeing a lot of peace in fact my body pain every kind of sickness is leaving me see again this is what i want to share to people is this inner healing is more about what is your past experiences there are many people who are hiding it who are not revealing that but somewhere you're carrying and uh, you're not able to express it to anybody you're just showing off outwardly you are just you no know, laughing uh, you just train try to prove that okay yeah i'm okay i i mean i have everything i can take care of my kid okay even if my father is mean even if my husband is not i can take care of or uh, maybe my wife is not there but still i can i can act like a mummy i can act like a father sorry something is missing there something is missing there okay until unless you don't heal that area you are not going to see success in your business you are not going to see success in your relationship you are not going to see success in your health yes okay if you find okay somewhere this relates to your story or somewhere you know somebody in your family or close ones who is going through this kind of challenges and i want to share to you guys i do this program completely online and in just less than 2 hours i try to gather try to gather why these issues okay i try to dig out more about the past okay why they are into this sufferings or what is the blockages okay and i completely erase it off completely erase it off and i program them for what they're looking for when i do that you won't believe i can just share um, go to my website and listen to all the testimonies there are many people who have come through a lot of challenges okay and today they are very very successful very very successful so if you are a person looking for that my numbers are flashing here please do call me and i'll be there to help you out again if you are a person new to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell symbol so that you get constant updates and again If you are new to my Facebook live programs, be a part of my Facebook live programs and share this video to as many people as you can. Again, Wilfred Stanley signing off from Rapid Mind Power. Bye. Thank you. Have a great day.